Electric bikes or e-bikes are becoming increasingly popular but present unique challenges when you want to carry them with your campervan, caravan or motorhome. In this video we examine those challenges and explore some solutions. I've just been loaned this electric mountain bike by Mark II Bikes and I'm really looking forward to trying it out. But the first obstacle I have to overcome is how am I going to transport it when I go caravanning? Because carrying a, an electric bike poses more of a challenge than carrying a non-electric bike. Also, this might influence your decision if you're still undecided between choosing a caravan, a campervan or a motorhome. If you missed my video going through the definitions and the pros and cons of a motorhome, van conversion, campervan and caravan, please see my earlier video, there's a link in the description below. The Mark II Scrambler is certainly a very handsome looking mountain bike, or should I say e-mountain bike, or should I say mountain e-bike. And Mark II claims that they are lighter than many of the competition, but because there is still a motor and a battery, although you can remove the battery, they are heavier than non-electric bikes. So let's get this on the scales and see how much it weighs compared to my regular mountain bike there. First of all, I weigh myself and this comes in at 79 kilos. I then weigh myself and the scrambler with the battery attached and we get a reading of 101.4 kilos, giving the e-bike a weight of 22.4 kilos with the battery fitted. I then remove the battery and re-weigh the scrambler. Now we have a reading of 99 kilos, making the e-bike 20 kilos without the battery. Next, I weigh my own non-electric and very old specialized hard rock mountain bike, which is a hard tail just like the scrambler. The total weight is 93.5 kilos, meaning that the bike weighs 14.5 kilos, which is about five and a half kilos lighter than the e-bike without the battery. But that isn't the end of the story. The e-bike is substantially heavier on the back wheel than the non-e-bike. Without the battery, the e-bike is 11.2 kilos on the rear wheel and 8.8 .8 kilos on the front wheel. The non-electric bike is 7 kilos on the rear wheel and 7.5 kilos on the front wheel. The electric bike therefore represents more of a challenge to lift into a bike rack, although some lower mounted bike racks do have a ramp option to make this easier. So now let's look at some of the ways of transporting your e-bike with a motorhome, campervan and a caravan. We'll start off with a regular bike rack that you can fit to your car, caravan, campervan or motorhome, normally attached to the rear panel or sometimes to the roof. The huge advantage with these is that they are relatively cheap and they fit a wide range of models. The disadvantages include the weight limit, which is sometimes too low for two bikes, and for example the Fiyama rack on my caravan can carry a maximum bike weight of 18 kilos, which is too low for the Mark II Scrambler. Lifting the bikes into these racks can be a huge challenge. That extra five kilos on the back wheel makes a huge difference. And finally, in the case of a caravan, to have overly heavy bikes mounted on the back could lead to stability issues when towing. Next up we have bespoke mounts for e-bikes. This one is made by the motorhome and campervan manufacturer Etrusco for its Fiat Ducato based vans. The advantage with these is that they are very easy to load as you can see but the two disadvantages are that they are phenomenally expensive and they are unique to just a limited choice of vans. If your vehicle has a tow bar and you're not towing, you might consider a tow bar mounted bike rack. These are easier to load because they're lower to the ground and their higher weight limits are normally e-bike friendly. If you can find a flange mounted version that keeps the tow ball free, it's still not suitable if you're towing a car trailer or caravan because you have to deduct the weight of the bikes from the nose weight of the caravan to keep within the limits of your tow bar. 
If your caravan nose weight is then too low, this can lead to instability issues. With a caravan, you might wish to consider an A-frame mounted bike rack, but the only mainstream UK produced caravan that can support such a bike rack is the Bailey Discovery. The two lay superb can carry two bikes of a maximum of 30 kilos each and the Discovery's purposely low nose weight out of the factory enables safe and practical use of the rack. It's also not too high to load the bikes either. This is brilliant, but you have to have a Bailey Discovery. Now what about inside the vehicle? Well, if you have a motorhome with a garage, you are laughing. This is by far the best solution for carrying e-bikes. It's easy to load and you have the added bonus of weather protection and additional security for your bikes. Just be sure to remain within the weight limit of your garage, but normally this is more than adequate for a few e-bikes. In the case of a camper van, look out for a van with a removable sofa and a roof bed. Alternatively, look at something like the modular system from Hebrides-based studio vans, where you can fit the furniture in around your own needs, and that can be around your e-bikes. As for off-the-shelf van conversions, there are many options with a rear bed that you can lift up to put the bikes underneath. But the next level is to go to something like the Adria Twin 640 SG, with this super cool garage, or the Adria Twin 640 SGX with its height adjustable bed. As for caravans, you're looking at something with a dedicated loading door such as a Swift Base Camp, a Canals Desio, and a Canals Sport and Fun. Some older caravans and imports have fold up bunks and proper bike loading doors, but sadly, these seem to have fallen out of favour with UK manufacturers. Carrying your e-bike inside your car or your regular caravan is possible, but not really recommended. Bikes are dirty and heavy. I had no option but to transport this e-bike in my caravan, and despite being extremely careful, I still managed to slightly damage a wall panel. The bike needs to be well secured when you're on the road, and you also have the faff of needing to remove the bike when you want to use the accommodation. For example, if you just want to stop and make a cup of tea en route. With the car, if you have an estate or a hatchback, you can still put the bike inside, but then you have the faff of removing the front wheel, turning the handlebars and the awkward lifting. You lose a lot of load space, which personally I can't afford to do if I want to take these two with me. To sum up, make sure that you have your bike rack installed by a professional installer and check the specification to ensure what the maximum load is and make sure that you don't exceed the maximum load. A poorly installed or overloaded or a poorly loaded bike carrier can lead to a disastrous accident and even loss of life. So this video is purely to inform you of what options there are available to you, but it is down to the individual to check that their setup is safe and legal. Also ensure that you don't exceed any weight limits, for example, the axle limit on your motorhome or the nose weight limit on your car or caravan. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Mark Two Bikes for the loan of this beautiful electric mountain bike, the Scrambler. Do check them out online. I'll leave a link in the description below this video. It really is a lovely bike. I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. If you did, I'd be massively grateful if you shared it with your friends online through social media or through your favorite forum. In the meantime, I'd be grateful if you would give this video a thumbs up. Do subscribe if you don't already. And it just leads me to say from Dougal, Dougal, come and say goodbye to your public. Oh dear, the effort. Dougal, come on. People are anyway, people are waiting for you. Come on, put in your show. You're, oh, he's like, oh, he's like a superstar, isn't he? You'll just put in a show, start the thing, you know. Let us do all the work and then just take all the credit at the end. So it just leaves me to say from Dougal, from Ted and from me, thanks for tuning in. There, 
Now, what do you make of this bike? Now, I'm sorry that we're not allowed to tow trailers with this bike, so no dog trailers. I don't know how we're gonna get, get around that. Yeah, no dog trailers with an e-bike. Yeah, no dog trailers. Oh dear, sorry. Oh dear. It's no wonder that they never smile. We'll have to put you back in the rucksack, won't we? And you, you'll have to run behind, I think. Little whippersnapper. Oh, sorry, we're boring you, Ted. Good boys. Right. Mm.